Hey guys, 16 bit dad here. Hopefully everything's running correctly. It seems to be on my end, which is really good. Um, and yeah, Ooh, let's just move this over there for a sec. But yeah, we, um, we're on disc four now, which is awesome. And started straight into it because I love this music and I thought it'd be really good kind of startup screen music. But yeah, basically last time we absolutely demolished Cypher and now we're going to have to go and fight Adele, which I thought was on disc 3, but no, apparently it's, it is actually disc 4 that it starts on. So let's get going actually, let's, just to be safe, let's heal up, um, let's heal everyone up a little bit at least. Now Irvine should have all of Runoa's magic at the moment, which is good going to rearrange manual and I'm going to move Aura right to the front because that's the most important one. Okay. Hey Fernando, thank you for joining. How's it going mate? Um, hope you're doing well. I'm doing good. I, as you know, I was doing the DIY um, bod, botch job on the um, shower rail and I don't know if you'll actually be able to see it. Probably not. But I managed to stick a screwdriver straight into my thumb. Oh, thumb, my finger. Which was really clever. How are you? <laughs> um, Alright, let's go get Adele sorted. At least there's not really a need for a save point. I don't need to go up those stairs, I just need to go up the ramp. But yeah, how's it going, mate? Hope you're doing well. Uh, that way, isn't it? There we go. This fight should be interesting. I've never understood why they do that outside shot real sudden and then quickly change to this one. I never quite understood the point of that. It's not DIY if there's no accidents. Agreed. Completely agreed. Um, I, I wish I could show you right now, like, because it came with a vertical support for the um, for the shower rail. But if say the vertical support was that long, compared to if that that had to go into the roof, but the shower rail came to about here. So that vertical thing wasn't enough. So I tried to cut it and saw it apart. Didn't work. So then I went and I found this random bit of pipe that we had from when we changed other things in the house. So that was about the right length. So then I had to sand that down on both ends to make sure it was flat. Get the screw in there to hold it and then use that as a vertical <laughs> support. But it's working. And that's most important. Oh, it was entertaining. Yeah, I'm good, Tar. Bit knackered. Walk 10 miles. 10 miles? That's a long way to walk. May I ask why? Because I don't think I've ever walked 10 miles in my life. In fact, I'm pretty sure I haven't. Although I did used to run cross-country when I was, like, 12. Couldn't, couldn't do that anymore. Not a chance. I smoked for far too long to be able to do that now. Um, Renoa. Cypher? No. Renoa and Adele. Sorceresses as one. Watch qu closely. Watch closely. I can't talk, apparently. Hello, Adele. Adele really reminds me of someone. The lead singer from, um... What's it called? Uh, Maroon 5. I don't know why, but she makes me reminds me of the lead singer of Maroon 5. Go figure. Um, Pokemon Go was with a raid group. That's... Wow, what Max I've done is 13 miles to a charity walk. That's really cool, though. That is really cool. Just go for Adele. Well, obviously. Um, right. Aura. Squall. I'm just worried that it's going to... If I do thingy, it's going to... If I do Renzakukin, it's going to attack Renoa, but it shouldn't do. Nothing worth drawing there. Meteor! There's nothing really worth doing on him. Draw a regen and cast on Renoa. It's probably a good idea. 
just to make sure she stays alive. Although we're going to do Renskuken first anyway, so that we'll see how that goes. Wow, that's a fast Renskuken. Have you ever seen Adele and Adam Levine in the same room? No, I have not. So there you go. Proof right there. Adele is Adam Levine. Um, Men's a kooken. Yeah, we're healing her more than that anyway. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Wait, that's what happens after Adele is defeated. She goes on to make a rather average um, pop group. <laughs> Average in my opinion, anyway. God, that is a really weird one. Oh god, this is gonna hurt Renoa, isn't it? Let's do Kuraga on Renoa just to be safe. Please don't kill Renoa. That would be really awkward. Yep, yeah, Renoa's dead. Or is Adele dead first? Oh, oh thank god. <laughs> Just do 9,999 damage on Renoa. Wow, okay. If that hadn't killed Adele, it would have been a game over. <laughs> would, would have a stick hoover. What? <laughs> Captions, go home, you're drunk. Right, that's that bit done. So now Renoa gets Adele's powers. And what's her face? Ultimicia goes into Renoa. And now all, all the weird time compression stuff happens. And yeah, I'm not going to try and explain all that again. Because it makes my head boggle even now. And I know this story really way, way too well. Right, so that's all done. I expected Adele to last a bit longer than two Renzakukans, I'll be honest. I was inside Adele, the young Adele. Hey, Punisher, thank you very much for joining. How's it going, mate? I really hope, really hope you're doing well. And wait, Adam Levine is an anagram of Invade Adele. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, if no one clips that, I'm going back and I'm going to clip that later. Because that... That's incredible. <laughs> Dude, fi figuring that out, man. Dude, nice one. <laughs> Ultimisha's is invading Adele. Okay, showtime. Time compression about to begin. Love, friendship and courage. But it's the magic of friendship. It's Twilight Sparkle. Show her what you got. I finished Horizon Zero Dawn main story tonight, dude. That's awesome. What did you think? What do you think to Horizon? Because I love it. It's my favorite PS4 game, in a by a long shot. But I know it's also not for everyone. So what did you think to it overall? I think I can control scroll at this point. Apparently not. I thought I could. I loved it. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a great game. I think they did such a, a wonderful job of making the open world actually like an open world game that doesn't get dull, honestly. Because I tend to get very bored with open world games. I I can't really like even GTA Five. I got bored eventually. So that kept and still keeps my interest. That says a lot. Why would Renoa disappear? Come on. What would be the point in that? I thought I could control us around here, but I guess not. Oh, this is so... Like, this bit's so weird. Uh, 
I forgot how weird this FMV is. Although it seems very, it feels very similar to like the fo one of the final FMVs in FF7 as well. How's your day been, Punisher? Anyway. Alright. Save point. Loads of save points. Might as well save. And probably need to heal Squall. Actually. Just to be safe. I don't mind using my elixirs. Because I can buy more. Once I'm in Ultimatius Castle, I probably will do. Oi! Yep, this bit. This, I remember now, this is where everything goes really weird. I legit thought this was a glitch when I first played the game. Like, what happened was happening to her then, and then I realise now that, oh no, something's actually meant to happen right now. But when she's first getting up and it's all like messed up, I really thought that was a glitch when I was younger. Right, time to kill a ton of sorceresses. They should go down relatively easily. They don't really have anything to draw either. Sorceress. <laughs> Yeah, they go down very easily. Okay. One thing I do like about this as well is that every time a new sorceress comes, the like the battle area changes. I think that's really a nice little effect to remind you of everywhere that you've been all this time. Look, we're at Balan now. I think, or another beach area. They really don't do a lot of damage with that. Just gonna. Slice them all down, one by one. So, what's everyone up to tomorrow? Which is, sadly, the obviously the last day of the weekend, but... You know. Because we, I believe, are going out to town, and if I can, I'm going to see what I can pick up as well. Although, I'm trying to keep as much money as possible. Ready for... Not next weekend, the weekend after because there's the um, retro game market in Leeds and I'm really looking forward to seeing what Japanese RPGs I can get there like RPGs but actually the Japanese discs not just Japanese RPGs like this <laughs> I should probably clarify that really Now soon, I believe, we get the next type. Yeah, there's the next type. There's three types, and the third one, I think you only fight one of them. I'm working tomorrow, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm off. Ah, oh, dude, that's... It sucks that you're working tomorrow, but all that time off is awesome. That's awesome. I don't have any proper time off until... June? I think, because we we'll be going over to Turkey for two weeks. Which also means that those two weeks I wouldn't be able to stream, but... I Honestly, I need a holiday already. Considering I managed... A random little fact about me, I was the only person in my company who went the entire of last year with one sick day in the whole year. Um... 0% time off it worked out as. How much is this going to hurt? A reasonable amount. Okay. Ooh, where in Turkey? Um, well, fair enough, my, um, my wife's parents, well, because my wife is Turkish, my wife's parents, they live just north of Istanbul. So that's where we were going. Um, actually, that's where we lived for a while as well. Um, so yeah, a few, a few nice days out in Istanbul. Um, drive down to one of the northern beaches. Maybe a place, visit a place called Chinakali where they have the Trojan horse. So that would be quite fun. 
I do. I actually really love that country. Oh look, there you go. Final one. Giant worm thing. Uh, most of next week, I'll be preparing for game blast. That makes sense. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I think. What's she doing? Oh, that does a lot of damage. I'm going to Renzo and her until she dies. This is the weirdest attack ever, like, animation ever. She just kind of fills you up and then there you go. Come on, Squall. Let's kill her. Should be it. Missed, 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 missed. Oh, that was terrible. I was not prepared for that, but it worked anyway. Um, I've never been to Istanbul. Been to Oludeniz, which is beautiful. You should. Um, I would also, yeah, I'd recommend checking out Chanakale, Chanakale which captions are never going to be the same. And. Um, Basically, anywhere at the Marmorous area is beautiful. Alright, so that's done. I need to get Squall up a level, unfortunately. Um, oh, we... Tuesday, I'm 38, so plenty of booze for me. Ooh, happy birthday in advance for Tuesday. No, he said I had 100 Ultima Stones, though. Okay. I know I was going to go through the game without Ultima, but you know what? I'm just going to see if I can make it. I'm just going to do it. Because why the hell not at this point? I'm going to put one there for now. What does Star Fragment do? Meteor. Ultima. Ultima. Okay. So now I'm going to go to Magic. School. Exchange. And we'll swap fire for <laughs> Ultima. There we go. Now, Junction Magic. Uh, strength Max, anyway. Could I? Because I could do that and absorb basically everything. Or m Max Health. Hmm. Super speed, but his speed's already really good. If I want to put a region on here, what does that. Can I? No, I can't, can I? So, in that case, what I'm going to do. If I leave. Take shell off. That's better. So, I'm going to put Ultima on there instead. Because that means that any. Any elemental attack will heal Squall. His hit's perfectly fine. His speed's good already. Um, I don't really need to get his magic up, do I? Because his health, honestly, is pretty damn good anyway. Um, I don't think I need much more than that. So yeah, that'll do, isn't it? Squall is now... Super defensive against every elemental attack, which will be good for the um, for some of the boss fights that are coming up. I need to get some meltdowns. Actually, thinking about it, how many meltdowns do I have, if any? Uh, he doesn't have any. Do I have any meltdowns? Twenty. Let's take them off Squall. And we're going to throw them on here. In exchange for... S stop, because I'm never going to use that. Now we're going to come here. We're going to rearrange. Meltdown needs to be right near the start, where Aura is. And we'll swap it for Meteor. Um... 
and then we'll probably want... Do we have protects? I don't think I do, do I? Yes, I have 29 protects. Okay, we'll swap that for doubles for now. Ready for later. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Because when we go up against Ultima, we're probably going to need as many of those as possible. Love the retro, retro stuff. Thanks, dude. So do I. Obviously, from the name 16-Bit Dad, that's kind of <laughs> a given. But, yeah. I'm glad you do. Now, if we come here, it should go all funny. And chains should arrive, I thought. Oh, yeah, there you go. <gasps> Something has changed. Future seeds. We're fighting across generations. And now we get to Resident Fantasy 8. The question is, how well can I actually remember as I'm going through this? Because right off the top of my head I can't remember it. But how well going through this can I actually remember all the different puzzles and key locations and stuff? Ultimisia's reign. We have to end it now. Can we get anything from them? No. Okay. Um, how do I get... Oh, it's this chain, isn't it? Is it? No. Oh, okay. You have to go down to the beach. It's a good start with the whole re remembering thing, isn't it? Triple. Give it to Zell, because why not? Right. Up the chain. Now, what I could do... I'm not going to because it takes way too long, but each of those takes you out to a different part of the world map. Um, and from the world map, I can't remember which door, but one of them, you can then go on this really, really long trek to get back to the Ragnarok airship, which has also come here. And on there, you could then play cards, and I could get the Gilgamesh card again, for example, potentially, and get more Holy Wars. But... 10 Holy Wars should be more than enough to do the Omega fight, theoretically. Good, we all made it. Whoa, so this is her castle. Finally. I've never seen anything so creepy. Think what's a face really lives here? Yes, because that's the whole point of this part of the game. Right, let's go finish the job. What are we going to do? We'll divide into two parties, as always. Now, for Squall's party, I want them. Because that gives a much, much lower average. Okay. Because having a lower average party level means the enemies are going to be a lower level too. Creepy music. And it's really important to be careful because and to plan because the party of this. The party's powers have been sealed by Ultimisia's servants. You can no longer use item, magic, GF, draw, command abilities, limit break, resurrection, or save. As long as you're inside the castle, everything of those is blocked. Including in here. So actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run outside quickly and I'm going to heal Selfie. Temporarily broken. Just so that I can make sure that Selfie's fully healed and everyone is fully healed. Let's just go to Call Shop. We'll do Esh the Shop. Because they have some of the best stuff. I can't buy any elixirs, unfortunately, but hey. Okie dokie. What about any of the other ones? Man from God. Anything useful? Not really. Um, okay. That's basically it. And I don't, I've already got everyone but Quistis' ultimate weapon anyway. So, okay. Let's go! 
Now we have to start beating a bunch of bosses to unlock all of those abilities. I just want to check. Everything's still junctioned, so that's okay. So let's go fight the first one, which is this thing up here. And all we can do, literally all we can do in this fight, is attack. That's it. Which <laughs> is not great. But it should die relatively quickly because we're relatively strong. I think. Wow, Selfie does a good good amount of damage. Nowhere near as much as Squall. But this should be rather quick and easy. Right, halfway dead already. Has nothing. That's fine. I might take Mug off because I don't really need it. Is it going to die now? Yes. Cool. There you go. What? Six? Seven hits and it died? That was easy enough. Now for this one, I'm going to... What am I going to do? I basically need draw and magic as the first two. I just don't know which way round to do them. Because you get to unlock them again. But you have to choose which ones. And I don't know which one to choose first. Probably... Magic. So that I can get aura just in case. And then the next fight I'll do draw. So I'll do magic first. But you, yeah, you also you can't save in the castle until you've unlocked the save ability. So <laughs> this bit can get really kind of unnerving because you go through all these fights and you actually can't save unless you leave. Now, is it down? I, can't, I want to fight Triforce thingy first. So I think we go down into the cellar, if I'm remembering correctly. This should be a spiral staircase. With him at the bottom. Yeah, why is it? There he is. Now he um, should heal Squall with all of his attacks. Because if I remember correctly, he attacks with thunder like crazy. Like lightning magic and stuff. But we have Aura, so I'm basically going to throw Aura on Squall, I think. No, using a mel uh, elemental tax, whatever I don't use, I don't like. So we're just going to go Aura on Squall. You can attack. And then we're going to render Kukin the bastard. <laughs> Unless I don't... Oh no, I can't do render Kukin because I haven't unlocked Limit Break. That was dumb. Yeah, see, he does a lot of damage, but he heals Squall. Okay, so that was a wasted turn. Selfie's going to die. That's fine, because Squall should survive. Um, I have full life anyway, I think. Let's just do full life on Selfie. Squall can attack again. Then Irvine will die this time. Oh. See, this is how bad I am at remembering things. You also can't bring them back to life again in the car in the castle until you unlock resurrection. So it's all up to school, basically. And then I'm gonna have to leave the castle, bring everyone back to life, and come back in again. So maybe rather than doing draw, because I have meltdowns anyway, for now. Although I want to keep them as much as possible, I might just get limit break now. I think that would make more sense. So yeah, I'm going to get limit break. 
just so that I can render cook in everyone. Now I need to get out of here. And I need to get out of the castle. Which should be... I can't remember how you get out of the castle right now. I wonder if I switch teams and then leave, will that work the way I want it to? No, I'm not trying to do that. So if we leave here, they should be outside as well. Yep, see, there you go, that works. So now we're just going to go Phoenix down, Phoenix down. For a mega elixir. And everyone's fine again. Nothing ever happened. Sorted. Okay, so that's two down. Um Who do I want to fight? The lever's been depressed. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go fight Krista, I think. So let's switch. Get these guys to fall down that thing. Oh. What I should do quickly because I don't want to fight anyone. Um, I can't remember who's who. I think... Yeah, let's just go like this. Quickly. Just to be safe. So now we should have encounter none on. Just to be absolutely safe because I don't want to fight anyone. Any normal battles. Not with these guys, anyway. Squall needs to at some point, but only after I've killed pretty much all the bosses. Because I need to get Squall level, one level up. So now, if we go over there, that should, that'll should press the switch, which means that won't fall down. So let's just head over here. Switch has been depressed. Turn to the party members. Switch junctions again. So yeah, this is um, this is basically just one giant puzzle. This place. Okay. Just magic, everyone. Kuraga, Kuraga. That'll do. Now I should. I think, be able to go across that um, chandelier. And not swing from it like Sia does. And that was a terrible dad joke and I apologise for that. Yeah, see, there you go. Now it's safe for me to go across. And in here should, I think, be Krista. Yep, there he is. Let's try it. I've got limit break, so... We'll see how this goes. Magic and limit break so far. I might get item next rather than draw. We'll see how the limit how bad. Oh, huh? Oh, hey Gilgamesh. I didn't expect that. Which sword is Gilgamesh going to use? I guess these don't count as boss fights then. Excalibur should do a reasonable amount of damage. Some damage. Not a huge amount though. Alright, Aura on Squall. You just attack. I really should take Mug off and put something else on, shouldn't I? Bollocks. Stop doing that, Gareth. There we go. This is going to really hurt. Yep. I was hoping for more than that, because this hurts a lot. Right, you, Cura, on you, Renzakuken, you're gonna uh, do nothing for now. Really don't do a lot of damage with this, but at the moment they have a lot of vitality. So 
So maybe I do need draw, so I can draw meltdown, draw cast meltdown. But then items really helpful, and I've got some meltdowns for now anyway. I don't know. Okay, I hope we survive this, but that means he's dead. Please survive this. Only just. Wow. And another one bites the dust. So what am I going to unlock? I think draw because then I can I can draw cast meltdown and stock up on meltdowns. Um, and then with that, limb breaks will do a lot more damage. So, we'll, yeah, we'll do draw. And then we'll get resurrection as the next one. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly leave. Because I don't need to worry about going up there ever again. I don't think. Let's just check there's nothing up there. I can't remember if there's like an item up there, like a key or something around here. I don't think there is. But let's just double check. Yeah, no, there isn't. There was a meteor draw, though. That was a good time to get draw, wasn't it? Fair enough. I'm now done with that section. Unless I can go this way. Is there anything around here? No. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to leave. Get Selfie alive again. She's going to die a lot, I think. Because she's quite weak. I might change her thing so she has more HP. And then we're going to go and find the next guy. Which should be the art room. And there's a puzzle in there. So we're just going to go you. Phoenix down. I might buy some more Phoenix downs as well, actually. Let's just heal everyone up. Oh, not GF, I want ability, call shop. Um, they'll all have Phoenix Downs anyway. Let's just buy a few of them. Okay. Mm, got a lot of remedies. Buy some high potions just to be just in case I ever need them, but they probably won't. I think that's enough for now. Okay. Um, let's save while we're here. Because we're making a bit of progress, so you might as well save just in case. Now, how do I get to the art room? I've forgotten. What's this way? This is probably not the way I wanted to come. Because this will take us back to that bit below, won't it? Yeah, okay. Unless there is somewhere else around here. What's this way? Anything this way? Nothing this way. What was through here? Is this the art room? No, it's the courtyard. Don't think I need to be out here yet. So let's head back again. There must be a door on the other side. Try If you try to get through here without encounter none, it will take you forever. Because there's so much running around to do. Especially if, like me, you're an idiot who can't remember anything. Um, must be upstairs then. Does feel a lot like a Resident Evil mansion though. 
this entire section feels very, very survival horror-esque. With the whole finding your way around, puzzles, and you have to find keys. It's, it's just, yeah. This is not where I thought I was going to end up. That's the bell. What I can do to get Ultima. No, no, Omega, even. Oh, there you go. Art room. Found it. Now, if this puzzle, the way it works, is if you run up here and you get to the right screen, which I think is around here, you can see a clock on the floor. So if you come around here, you're at four, six, and eight on the numbers. So what you need is to find four, what ones are four, six, and eight. Just trying to, so I just need to select all of them quickly, because I can't remember which ones are which. But I think it's something about the messenger being in the guard in the the messenger is in the garden something something because you have to basically name a painting downstairs messenger not that one I think it's messenger sleeps in the garden or something. not that one. Not that one. But by doing this you get the name. I think that's how you work out what the names are. I can't remember. But there's a re I'm going to check all of them anyway. I could just obviously Google the answer. But I'd rather not. Um... Once you've done this, that will unlock the enemy Trauma, who we then have to fight, and I believe he's the one that has that you can draw cast Meltdown to make him weaker. And that's why I want to draw. Because then once I've, once that works, I can just Renzakukin him into nothingness. Uh, come on, go around. Sleep. So it's intervigulum as well. Okay. Let's try and figure this out then. Title is too faint to read. Um, Viata Vivierum intervigulum? Okay, so what was sleep? Intervigulum, okay. What was messenger? That's the one I don't remember because it's Vivia. 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 That thing. But what was messenger? If I can find messenger. Vid not vigil. Where was messenger? Oh. Uh, Okay, it is Vietor. So then, come back around here, what was the other one? So it's Vietor. In the garden sleeps a messenger, I think it is, actually. So it should be garden. So it's Vividarium, Vietor. The Vividarium, the other thing, Vietor. Maybe. I like how we're in a weird time compressed world and yet we're still getting paid, even though we're technically in the future. So let's try in the garden sleeps a messenger. So we'll go in the garden sleeps messenger. In the garden sleeps a messenger. There you go. That was it. Cool. And now the boss is behind us. 
Hi, trauma. Let's see how this goes. Because he has very, very strong defense, so you want to do that. And then this. And then this. For now. Oh, there you go. Meltdown works straight away. Okay. I didn't just cast it again. Oh well, I should have waited. I didn't expect it to work first time. Honestly. Right, now. You're going to draw and stock some Meltdown. You can draw, stock, meltdown. Squall needs to do Renzakuken. Just get a few meltdowns while we're here. Not much, but a couple of them to help for Omega. Drain, okay. How much are you going to drain? Not a lot. That's good. Now he's going to create another one. Yeah. Okay. They don't do a lot anyway. So draw, stop, meltdown, draw, stop, meltdown. Wait for him to do his draw. Failed. Okay, whatever. We've got a few. And now, if you see, we're not doing a thousand per hit. We're doing the, the correct amount. Oh, and we're going to do Lionheart, so that's that. <laughs> Done and dusted, I think. Finish that can. I ran out of actual Fanta, so I'm drinking cans at the moment. So I apologise for the sound of me opening a can. But yeah, he's dead. Huh? Not dead. After the lion heart? That makes no sense. Is it cracking cold one with the boys? <laughs> Very much so. How come he didn't die? I'm surprised at that. Let's attack the dromers. Ah, I can't believe I missed those. Right, Blasting's in, so that'll hit all of them. But yeah, hey Daniel, and hey JRH, thank you for joining. How are you guys doing? Hope you're both doing well. We've already killed three of the enemies so far in Disc 4. So we're getting there. But Trauma didn't die for some reason. But he did that time, so there you go, sorted. His head blew up. We've got a few meltdowns as well, so that's good. All right, thanks. Busy with picks. How about yourself? I'm doing very, doing really good. Um, had a very productive dad day doing DIY. <laughs> All right, what am I going to get next? Um, I don't without resurrection. I don't really need item, so I'm gonna get resurrection next, and then we'll and then we can use item later. So that's that one done. Let's heal a bit. Only a little bit, but might as well. So I'll we'll just go cura, cura, cura. There you go. Okay. Um. So that's the fight done. Nice. I envy you. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it was, um, wasn't was the most enjoyable thing, because I had to do a load of, like, hacking and soaring and stuff, but it was a successful run with DIY, so that's kind of what's important. Um, is this way you go into the prison? 
requires armor key. There you go. See, told you. This is basically Resident Evil or Final Fantasy. Final Resident Fantasy Eight. That's what, was, what I called it, wasn't it? So let's head down here. I'm really not happy about the idea of facing the red giant straight away, but let's just do it. That'll lock. I've got meltdowns, which I'm going to cast. And let's try and kill the red giant. Meltdown or Renzakuken, basically. Sounds like great fun. I love making things. Yeah, I basically installed a... I had to botch job a, um, a shower rail because the support the vertical supports it came with weren't were too big for like too tall so it wouldn't work all right we're gonna go magic she should have meltdowns yep see if that's gonna work or if i have to cast it again will it work first time no try again that magic is useless no it's not I know, no, it's not. You just have to keep doing it until it works. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Meltdown. I'm just worried it's not going to take an effect. Come on, work. Damn it. You don't have any, do you? No. That didn't do it either. Come on. Right, we've got Protect, yes. Let's start casting Protect. And if it doesn't work in a minute, I'm just going to start just doing Lionheart. Well, not Lionheart, but Renzakuken. Just to get started on doing some actual damage to him. I think... I'll try once more with you, but then we can go Aura on you. Demi does nicely here too. I might have to have to use that in a minute because Meltdown's just not doing what I want it to do. Ah, oh, bollocks. So Renzakuken's not going to do a lot of damage, but it'll be a start at least. And then he'll attack for not too much, which is good. I'm going to keep doing it with her because she's got quite a few. Um, let's just check. Protect and Squall. Just there. Yes, finally. That's what I needed. I needed him to go pink. Because that. <laughs> there you go. And then Lionheart. Meltdown, then Lionheart. That'll do. Another one bites the dust. Just what I needed. Just what we needed. Goodbye, Red Giant. Right. What should I, and now I'm going to get item. Looks like you might finish tonight. Well, I've got to... At the very least, I should get to Omega. And I'll try Omega. Because I've got the Holy Wars and stuff. So I'm going to do my best to do Omega and finish. Because we're doing really well so far. So... But I need to get Squall a level up. That's the problem. So, yeah, let's do item. So now I can come in here. I can just go high potions. Um, and do that. And there you go. Okay. So now we've got the prison key. So now we're just uh, closing the side. So I have to go back out this way. So that's another one done. I need the armory key to get in there. So let's get out of here. 
Imagine if, imagine Omega's health is going to be around 400 to 600 HP. Yeah, I think that's about right, which is a lot. But if I can get Meltdown on him, um, then Squall does, what, 17 hits with Lionheart, plus whatever he does with Venzakukin. So that could do quite a lot of damage if I can get him to do Lionheart. The problem is, once you've got Holy Wars on, if the aura, if aura runs out, I can't put it back on again. Going to bring Irvine too? I am. I'm basically going to try. I'm going to try triple, uh, get triple Aura, Holy Wars, and then just blast away with them. And then I also I want to try and get um... <laughs> Inventor Cooking. <laughs> And then Inventor becomes Invictus. What is going on with the captions today? They're worse than ever. Uh, right, I need to go into the next part of this place. Oh, you've got a nice strength stat for Irvy too. Um, it's alright. 163 is okay. But it's not 255 like that. I might see if I can do anything that's going to make it higher. I don't think I can at the moment. I mean, I could give him Ultima, but... So you know what? It's not a bad shout. Just throw Ultima on him for his strength, actually. So let's go to Junction Squall, Junction Magic. Uh, we'll swap this for... Shell, because I'm not too worried about the elemental thing at the moment, and then well, and just switch the magic across. Exchange. Where's Ultima? Because in the end, I gave up and I thought I'll just get Ultima. Probably worth it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let's just go to Irvine, who's absolutely maxed out again. So we'll throw fire back again, because why not? Uh, fine, magic. Cause, and then, it's, yeah, see, straight away. 2-1-1. That's a massive, massive jump. Oh, yeah. Take mug off school. I don't need mug. But, and I don't need strength either. But the extra speed would could be good. Um, or auto haste might actually be better. Than, <laughs> rather than just putting his speed up. Alright. Now, let's head back through that door over here. And I'm getting a message. Bear with me one sec. I've just been given a message. Sorry, guys. The wife is asking about my daughter. Alright. Now. No, I don't want to switch at the moment. I can't remember. Is there anything this way that I need to do first? I can't remember my way around here. At all. Okay, so I can't get in here yet, can I? No. Okay. So we'll do that later. Now, inside here is where you fight Ultima. I get lost here too, yeah. This bit, it's... I say, it's basically Resident Fantasy, but more confusing than that. That's Ultima, that, uh, Omega, not Ultima. There. Dispel. Kind of pointless, but I might as well. And I can't fight Omega yet. And to be honest, I want to save before I do. Especially when the par with the party sw switching nonsense. H hate that in all games. Oh, it does get really... I have to go and get that. Yeah, it does get really confusing. Trying to figure out like who needs to be where and everything. But we'll make it through.
Can I get the key from down here? I can't remember. Is it right? No, no, I can't. Okay, so I'll have to get that later. Why did you go down? I said press, I'm pressing up. Stupid thing. Alright, so I just have to go straight for now. So let's head in here. I think this is the one that leads to Tiamat. So, uh, let's go fight Tiamat. Should be outside somewhere. I guess it's further up. Always enjoyed how the person behind Irvi on ladders has the head inside his coat. <laughs> I feel really bad for everyone who's climbing up the ladders in this game because they climb so close that they're basically sticking their head up each other. Oh, more messages. Yeah. Alright. Sorry, my wife's asking lots of questions at the moment while she's at work. <laughs> Up we go. Where's the entrance to time? I think it's the next... Because you have to sw jump across the the bell, don't you? So yeah, it's here. So it goes to the next floor. Then we have to jump onto the bell. And that'll take us to, t to time it. Whee! Whee! Just going through the bell... Hello, Tiamat. Alright. I'm going to have to do the same thing again, aren't I? Meltdown or uh, Renzikuken, basically. She's still messaging me. What great timing. Pause that for a sec. Sorry, guys. Alright, so, you're going to use Meltdown. Now, if this works, great. It did, awesome. So now, you do Aura. I don't know how much life he actually has. Oh, by the way, buddy, uh, what kind of flavours do you vape? At the moment, I'm using... Um, what am I doing? Blueberry, at the moment. Attack. Attack. Renzikuken. Hey, Lou, thank you for joining. I hope you're doing well. There you go, time it dead as well. Another one bites the dust. So let's get. Screw it, let's get save. Ah, oh, so many things.
Mm. Alright. So, um, have, you, have you found that vaping has helped? Well, I used I used to smoke about packet, maybe packet and a half a day. I'm now only doing, uh, in fact, I'm, I've now been vaping and not smoking for four years. So, yeah, it has helped a lot. Um, I'm still new to it. Just received watermelon, cola, strawberry flavoured. I think I made a mistake getting cherry. Uh, not getting cherry. Yeah, cherry is a really good one. Cherry menthol is really nice as well. Oh. Sorry guys, my wife is really sending a lot, of, a lot of messages at the moment. Like constantly, it's actually slightly annoying right now. Um, anyway, where are we? Um, a bit apprehensive about the menthol flavours, um, but it sounds like it's worth a go. I would recommend it, personally. Uh, right, now. I need to find a save point, which I think is up here. So they go down to the ladder. Because I just want to find a save point for now. And then I can run back. Because we've made a lot of progress, and the last thing I want to do is get a game over, basically. There you go, I can see a save point in the distance. Perfect. Wow, I forgot how long that bit was. Right, let's save there. Because that's actually the end of the game, and I could just go and finish the game right now. Which also means if I save there, and then I lose against um, Omega, at least I could just load it and quickly just finish the game. Ugh. Right. Let's head back up again. I need to find the rest of the people to fight. Not that I can actually remember where they all are. Because that's just the way I am. Level 5 death won't hit. Level 5 death will hit at the moment. Um, scores 60. So before I go and fight Omega, I will have to get a level up. Unfortunately. Go on. There you go, that was weird. So I will have to take Encounter Nun off and do what, like, maybe one fight before I go. Just to make sure that level 5 doesn't kill Squall immediately. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What I need to do next. And like how I get that key. Because I need to get into the armory and I can't remember how you do it. Because in the armory I think is where Cartobulpus or whatever his name is. Because is. there's what, two left to kill now? I think. I think. And I want command ability so that I can then try and get some more things in aura. Parts in this area and the mechanics seem familiar to me, although I'm pretty sure I've never gotten this far in the game. Something usually happens after I get the Ragnarok save file. Game has a corrupt 
um, has corrupted as a rule. Dude, that's horrible. <laughs> but you, maybe you did get this far. You never know. Maybe you did. Oh, just, doesn't the key end up in the... Oh, you silly man. I know where the key should be. It should be in the, um, the fountain, shouldn't it? Treasure, oh, okay, the treasure bot key's in there. I'm not sure where the treasure bot key vault is, though. But yeah, that, that kind of sucks. A lot. How do I get in here? I can't remember. I really can't remember, and it's annoying. Um, right, what that draw point's bugging me. What is it? Slow. No, thanks. Whoa. Game going a bit nuts there. Um, there wasn't anything more down here, was there? I don't think. Mm, no, there wasn't. Okay. If I remember correctly, it's another place with water flowing. Another place with water flowing. Because I've done all the rooms in here, haven't I? Or was there somewhere to go the other direction? I'm just going to double check because I can fall down again to quickly get back to this point. So let's just double check I didn't miss a door back this way, like on the up and to the left. Because I didn't go to the left here, I've only been to the right, I think. So let's head this way. Wow, you get a, you get paid a lot when you're in here, don't you? Yeah, there is a door here. So let's go in here. Okay, I haven't been this place yet. So what's through here? Okay, that was the corridor I was remembering in my head. The one with the weird camera angles. So we're in somewhere new. Oh, crap. Oh, this bit where you have to go up and down. Okay, so I need to get them round to there somehow. Okay. I can't remember how you get round there. Now, who? all I want to do is I want Encounter None. Which is on Diablo, so that should be on Irvine. Diablo is on Irvine, so we want Switch, we'll just do Zell. Yeah, Zell with Irvine for now. Yeah, this bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So now Zell should have encountered none, so that's fine. How do I get back to that bit from the other direction? Oh, I cannot for the life of me remember how to do that. So let's fall down. Because I know there's nothing in there. Well, because no, it's still going to be in this castle, isn't it? Like this side of the castle. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, where do I go? Where do I go? Let's head this way. Reload? Um, no, I don't need to reload. I just need to figure out how to get there. Because I need to be. In, I need these guys to get to the get there, but to be on the top. I think I have to come from the other side. So let's go right this time. 
uh, it's just figuring things out what to do. How do I get over there? Because around here, that just goes to the art room, doesn't it? I don't think there's anywhere to go from the art room. Um, there weren't any doors upstairs, were there? And this goes... Where does this go? I've forgotten. Okay, I don't need to go down. I need to go up. So, I don't think there was anything up here. How do you get round to that bit? Yeah, there's no doors here. You know what? For the sake of being quick with this, I'm going to look. Because I don't want to be sitting here for ages on this. I would actually like to face Omega and then get on with it with the end of the game. Done that one. Done that one. Done that one. Alright. Go down the stairs, but this time instead of going left, use. Oh, wait, what? How do you get the armory key? If you press screen, we'll go to the screen, you'll see a key. If you walk, it will not move. It's no problem if it falls. If it falls right down the f to the floor where it needs to. Oh! Okay, let's just go to the armory then. Let's switch back and just go to the armory. Uh, this way, isn't it? Let's go fight Gargantua. Um, right. Switch. Irvine with Zell. Is that where the key drops? Floodgate room. Um, yeah, basically, turns out, because I couldn't remember where the key drops. Turns out the key drops exactly where the armory is. So I'm just going to go head over there, which is basically where those other guys are anyway. No. So up we go. Because I only got two things left to kill anyway, but it's whether I need to kill them all. Because the only thing that's blocked is GF if I get command ability now. And I don't actually use GF ever, so I might just not bother with that. Uh, armory, armory, armory. Yeah, armory was downstairs, wasn't it? I think. So let's head back down here. We're going to run past the others. And then round here. No, I don't want to switch, but I can't go around them. So let's just run straight through here. Let's go fight him quickly. And then I think that would be enough for me to then go save and try Omega. Yep, and the armory key should be here. There we go. And then they're also technically in the right right place for it too. But if I exit, they're not going to be. Right, I'll sort that out in a minute. Let's just fight this guy and get command abilities back. Right, first thing I'm going to do is Aura... How, how bad is this going to hurt? Huh, okay. Oh, crap. Forgot about that. 
in armor. Oh, there's a switch to to right in armor. Is there? I think you have to attack the others first to get the full guy to appear. But okay, I don't need to do meltdown. Hang on, I'm, I, you know, I've never killed the head before the hands. Can't believe I missed that. That's pathetic. If I kill the head before the hands, does it just end? Or does he still appear? Yeah, he's still, still going to appear. Okay. Out comes the main one. So now I have to kill him. I can't remember if I need Meltdown on him or not. Just attack and find out. Probably will do. Or maybe not. Okay. Rent a cooking. How much is this going to hurt? Oh, it's going to... Is that for Confuse and various other stuff, isn't it? Okay. Rent a cooking. One, two, three, four. And he's dead. Okay, that was easy. Another one bites the dust. These death animations take a long time. I was thinking as well. Um, like people speedrunning Final Fantasy VIII, can't they just like put it on the fast forward thing on Steam and just use that, and then that would boost their time massively? Or would that not count for the speedrun? Right, screw GF. I don't use it, and I've got everything now that I need. So let's just go. Elixir one two. Oh no. And you. Okie dokie. So that's that. I'm going to go and run all the way back to that other save point in the castle because then it doesn't reset where they are, where the other party are. I think that's a separate category. Um, yeah, I think it would be a different category. See, I think it'd have to be, wouldn't it? Because otherwise it's just not fair. Oh yeah, I need to take count of none off because school needs to level up. Um, let's do that for now. School needs to level up. Well, that was a quick into a battle, wasn't it? But yeah, it, I think it'd have to be, wouldn't it? Because otherwise it's just simply not fair. Because how fast they could go through the game just normally. Wow, one shot kill. Gonna kill him? No. Earthquake. Okay. I'm hoping... <laughs> they do no damage at all. I'm hoping Squall will just get... Oh, he's dead. Okay. Get a level up from this and then that'll be the end of that. But maybe not. We'll see. I just need one level up. Ah, sorted. Okay. No more fighting. That was easy. Uh, wrong one. Irvine, uh, ability, encounter, none. Right. Wouldn't wouldn't the game time speed up with the settings? I don't know, does it? It's a good point, it might do. No! Yeah, actually no, I guess it probably would do, wouldn't it? But then don't they just... They, they just do they do it based on actual game time when this been in Final Fantasy games, or do they? Would they do it like that, or would they do it just based on the actual time you're playing it? Right. Um, they don't use in-game timers for in, for timing most games. Fair enough then. Shortcut. 
Alright, come on, Squall. Let's go. We need to go this way. So then, yeah, it would make a huge difference. Also, did you use the treasure vault key in the wonky slanted corridor? No. Actually, I didn't. I think the door is there on the left. Alright, let's go do that quickly. Before we go any before we do anything else. And then, yeah, I'm going to go the long way around to the save point. Because I don't... Oh, but it's going to take longer, isn't it? Alright, you know what? I'm not... I'll, I will save outside and then I'll just move Zell's party back to where it needs to be. I was trying to be lazy, but it's actually probably quicker to do it that way. So let's go do this first. Use the treasure vault key. What does the treasure vault key do? Like, is, there, is that where the final guy is? Like, like final enemy? Because I don't remember, of course, being me. Right, and we go. I think there's some treasure chests with some puzzles. Treasure vault key. There we go. Something about opening them in order. That worked. Oh no, that's Cartopopus. Well, there you go. Let's fight him then. And then we've just got everything. I think I'm probably going to need Meltdown on this guy. What do you humans plan to do against the likes of me? Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Gilgamesh coming. But he does Excalapore, doesn't he? Mazamune. Okay, fair enough. Mazamune Air. 7,000 damage. Nice. Right. Aura. You haven't got melt. You do have meltdown. Okay, we'll just do that. See if it works. Cast meltdown. Bollocks. Stupid me. Yep, okay, and now he's definitely going to die. One, two, three, four, five, six. And Lionheart again. <laughs> We're getting quite lucky with the Lionhearts at the moment, and that worries me because maybe he won't do it against Omega. But that's Catobulpus Kato or whatever this thing's called is. Done. Meteor. Hopefully we'll survive this. At least one of us should. Squall, I hope. How much damage is it actually going to do? Quite a lot. But that was alright. Definitely need them for Omega. I like how it changed Cartobulbus to Bulbasaur. Did it? Wow, okay. Bulbasaur's final evolution. So Cartobulbus is Bulbasaur. Adele is Adam Levine. What else are we going to find out today? Alright. Another one done. All done, in fact. Every single one of them. Okay. And GF. And that's everything unlocked. Okay, so now I need to go and save before I do anything to do with Omega, I need to save. 
because I'm probably going to die. Renta Kuken is inventor cooking. <laughs> it said Renta Kuken. And now it's a dragon. What? <laughs> but it said it. Did anyone else see that? It actually said it correctly. I can't believe it. Yep, that's exactly right. That's the right face. I can't believe it said Renzo Kukin. Correctly. <laughs> I'm going to make a quick dinner uh, before jumping back for Omega. No worries, mate. Because I've got to move everyone into position and stuff again anyway now. So let's just save and probably just throw. Have we got any tents? I don't, do I? Screw it. Mega Elixir. Save. Um, what I should do is go to items, rearrange, holy war, exchange for potions. Got two heroes. Put them in exchange for that. Phoenix down is fine there. Mega Phoenix will switch with Mega Elixirs. So that everything should be right near the top when I start the fight. So now I need to move them back into position. So we'll switch. Throw on encounter none. Aw, oh, Daniel, thank you for hosting. Really appreciate that. Uh, switch you with Irvine. Now we need to get you guys up to where the thingy is. Should be around here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. That's all I'm going to say. I expect Omega to take a very long time. I'm going to try it once for now and if I die then I'll leave it and I'll go and end the I'll go and end the game um, so that we have at least ended the game and then maybe in the future I'll try again but I really want to end the game tonight as well where am I going I need to be back there didn't I and that's like I've got like an hour or so left to stream Alright, so now switch back here. Uh, wrong one. Switch. You with you. Get you guys into position. Um, shortcut. Just double check our levels actually. No one's divisible by five, so that's okay. I expect this fight to be very hard, but we'll see. It would be really nice if, if Selfie could get the end. <laughs> right, so let's just heal Irvine. So everyone's full health. Now we switch and here we go. I need to, no, don't get in a fight. Where's the bell? Huh, wait, what? Am I in the wrong place then? I thought that was where the bell was. Come on, phone. Be nice. The bell outside the gallery, which activates a short timer. Yeah. Was I in the wrong... Maybe just the wrong position. I don't want to fight. You know what I'm going to do? I get a really short timer, and I'm worried that this is going to use the timer up. But I am going to do this. Because I don't want to fight while I'm trying to work out where, where this is. It's here. Uh, 
And it's annoying that the timer runs like that as well. Come on. Stop the animation. Right. Switch. Right, you. Um, come on, quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. 30 seconds to get in there and face him. Right, here we go. Touch him. What the hell? Guys, it's not... There you go. <laughs> God, I was like, what? Okay. This is going to either end really well or with utter uh, utter defeat. Triple on you. Um, you. Meltdown. You aura. I did or I did that completely wrong there. Meltdown works straight away. He's gonna attack for a hell of a lot of damage. I've already screwed up. I meant to do triple. Right. Phoenix no. You Phoenix level five death. Okay, that's fine. Phoenix down on you. Magic, triple, aura. Gotta wait. Come on. Right, aura. 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 Meteor's gonna kill her again, isn't it? Hmm. Where? Okay, whatever. Right, as soon as Aura's on him, I'm just throwing Holy Wars on. Do your Holy War. Do your Holy War. Okay, so they're now safe. Right, Ren's a Kukin. Just in time for, Men for Medigo Flame. Let's do Pulse Ammo. Selfie might be worth a sacrifice, that's what I'm thinking. Come on, Lionheart. Not blasting zone, Lionheart! Damn it! I was hoping to be able to use the end, but I'm not going to bother. Hyper shot. Probably should have done something else. Live and learn. Friends are I'm just worried when the Holy War is going to run out. Shot. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Rough divide. I will do fast shot. We'll see how that goes. Just do Lionheart, damn it. Right, quick shot. Got ten shots. Didn't really do a lot. Okay. Terror break. The worst move he does. And we're still invincible. Because that's basically going to kill you, no matter what. You, you got 10 Holy War, should be right. Plenty. It should be plenty, yeah. As It just depends on when they run out and whether that happens to be like when he's doing that again. Because Aura's run out there. Annoyingly. Come on. 
Just do line heart damn it. Because, obviously, once Aura runs out, I can't actually put it back on again until Holy War runs out. And I'm really worried about that. Aura's run out. Right, shit, what am I doing? Idiot. Magic. Single. Aura. Oh, that was not good. Where's Holy War? Where's Holy War? I don't care about Irvine's limit, I really don't. <laughs> Just in time for Ultima. Which I'm going to try casting. Missing the triggers. Oh, for God's sake. Pretty good timing though, it was. Draw failed, fine. You're just there for backup at the moment. It does not want to do Lionheart. I said it, I said my luck was. Or being used everywhere else. Missed the last one. Faded circle. Again. If you need another go with him, 10 Holy Wars, it might even be worth pop first thing. I'm going to try once and I'm probably just going to leave it. Honestly. We'll see how it goes. Because my main goal is to just finish the game. I just want, want to see if I could do this. And I'm doing reasonably well. Do Lionheart not blasting zone. I'm going to keep Irvine on standby so that I can just throw up a mega elixir quickly as well. Oh, another holy war. One or the other. Or aura, in fact. Uh. See if I can do Renzakukin anyway. And then Irvine needs to do Holy War straight away. Or one of us. I'm gonna go flame. Crap. Well, we'll, all, we'll both be on one HP, won't we, actually? Oh, shit. Who did I just Phoenix down? I thought. I, th I think it was on score. Okay. Item, most holy war, holy war, holy war, holy war. Use your holy war. Good. Thank God for that. Right, run to cooking. Just do Lion Heart. Sometimes you just have to hope for level five death. I know, right?
I think this will be my only try, I've got to say. Bollocks! Irvine attack. Renzakuken, I know it. I don't know how much more health he's got. No idea. I just want him to die now, honestly. A four, come on. That is not enough. Why are you just doing fours? Right, I'm going to stop attacking with Irvine now. Because I need to be ready and try and get another Holy War in before anything else. Before he actually kills Squall. Threatens a Kukin. Another Holy War. It's close. Um, it's get we're getting there. I just hope he. F I hope Irvine does the Holy War. Yep. Because and then Irvine's probably going to die, unfortunately. Light pillar. Okay, Irvine will survive that. I'm going to throw a hero on Irvine. Rather than wasting a holy war. Do Lionheart. <sighs> uh, hero, yeah. Can always pop a hero. For yeah, hero, exactly. <laughs> This is... Come on, just die. God damn you, die. Alright. Oh, and Meteor. Oh, God. Hero on Irvine. Please survive, Irvine. Please. Oh god, that was a lot of damage. 25% of Lion Lionhearts can't believe it's not coming. Game is seriously trolling you with the limits. I know, right? <laughs> what? Why does this game hate me so much right now? Elixir and Irvine might be worth. I've got the hero on him for now. We'll just see how it goes. Because then he'll survive long enough to, to throw another one on Squall as well. Basically. I'm not going to attack or anything. Just come on. Oh, God. Right. Where's my hero? On oh, Squall. Finally! <laughs> Finally, he does it. But it's probably it's not going to be enough to kill it, but at least we get one of them. Oh, I don't know how much more health he's going to have. We need to get the hero on school, like ASAP. 
<laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> we did it! We did it! <laughs> yes! Lionheart, finally, and that does it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I wish Stark had been here to see that. Oh, we did it. <laughs> oh. Right. Now, Hum's Final Fantasy Victory music. It's going on and on in my head right now. And now, actually, what I will do quickly, if I go to Tutorial, I think it's Information. Proof of Omega! You defeated the world's strongest monster Omega weapon in Ultimecia Castle. You were the finest fighter in the world. Right there. That's what you get. Way before achievements or anything like that. There you go. That's it. Right. Now we can go and finish the game. <laughs> I did not think it was going to actually work. Oh. I had wanted to do it using the end because I've never managed to do it before. But you know what? I'm happy with that. I'll take that. Just going to refill my vape because I was really sucking on it while we were fighting that. Ugh. Okay. Come on. Really need some more nicotine right now. Stark and... Ah, oh, dude, thank you. Thank you for clipping that. I'm going to check that out as well. Ah, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that worked. I'm so glad of that. That's really put me in a really good mood. I did not think there that we were actually going to make it through that. Oh, it, it was trolling me so hard with those limit breaks, wasn't it? Like, it just wouldn't do Lionheart until the very end. Right, let's go get this over with. Let's go kill Ultimecia. All four phases of Ultimecia, I believe. With plenty of Holy Wars left over for final battle. Very, very true. And I'm definitely going to save before we go into the final battle. Although I've never had a problem with it before. Because I'm saying that now, I probably will. Which is why, just because I know what my luck's like, I'm going to save. If it would go down the bloody ladder. Oh, I can't believe that. Starting squall in, in yellow might not be bad. I've already healed him, unfortunately, and I don't want to fight and get more levels up. I'll just throw aura and then go from there. We'll see how it goes. It's not... Ultimate is not that hard, as far as I remember. Oh, it didn't catch a field. Oh, yeah, I did. Just, just might as well stagger it. Might as well. Right. Let's get going. Get it over with. Fight her now, because I've done everything else already. Oh, oh that was awesome. So glad that that worked. All right then, come on, Ultimate Seer. There you go. The first time you properly see her, and it's right at the end of the game. Not quite as bad as the introduction of Necron in Final Fantasy IX, because that just comes out of bloody nowhere. Seed, 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 seed. 
Curse all seeds. Swarming like locusts across generations. You disgust me. Beat me to it with the Clip Daniel <laughs> Guru Slow app. <laughs> Thank you very, very much to both of you. I really appreciate that. You are the, the price for your meddling is death beyond death. Yes, yes, yes. Let's just get on with it. How promote? Actually, that's a good point. How I didn't know you could clip on mobile app either because I don't think you. I didn't think you could. I'm gonna have to look into that. Hello, Ultimicia. Why are we... What? Oh, I've completely forgot that it... What? Um... Crap. Why have I got those guys? I'm confused. Why have I got these guys? I'm so confused right now. Daniel, what am I missing? Why is it giving me these guys? Where's my actual party? If I die here, I don't mind because... I... Oh, they do die off an exchange. Okay. So I have to wait for Quistus and Renoa to die? Maybe I should heal Irvine. Oh, only Irvine can actually do anything at the moment. Let's just elixir on Irvine. I do hope you're right. Because at the moment, Quistis isn't doing anything. She's not going anywhere. I don't remember that this ever happening before. My memory has gone completely. Absorbed into time. Okay, so yeah, they do switch out. Hi, Selfie. Here. Um, right, wait for Irvine. Shit. This is not going to plan. Okay, Renoa will go. Mega Elixir. I'm sorry, Renoa. Now. I think probably a good time for a Holy War. Just to be really, really safe, because I've got six of them anyway. Oh, this is going to hurt a lot. Please don't kill Selfie. Okay, it was only on one. Right, so we just need Renoa to come. To go away. Sorry, Renoa. I, lo <laughs> I really like you as a character, but I need Squall. And I need to cast Aura, and then I'll do another Holy War. Zell's going to come next, isn't he? Of course. If I'm in the order, there might be a system to it. I think it, I think there probably is a system to it, and that's that you probably get Squall last, no matter what. That's my guess. Yeah. 
just to make it hard for you. Because I do remember that animation of the little cherub. I think mentally I've completely blocked this out or something. Cool. Hey, to bomb 2018. Well, I'm saying 2018. Thank you very much for the ra for the raid, mate. How are you doing? How was your stream? What were you streaming, in fact? Um, and I hope you didn't get ads then. You probably did. Let me know when you're in and I'll say hi again. <laughs> Alright. In comes Griever. But yeah, let me know when you're in and pass the adverts and I will say hi again. Do, uh, there you go. Doing good. Did great. Was playing Paladin's Quest. Nice! How'd it go? I haven't actually played that. We, um... Yeah, we... We're currently playing Final Fantasy VIII. As you can see, we're at basically the end of the game as well. Um, for everyone who's just come in, I'm 16-bit dad. Um, and you've also just meet, missed us beating um, Omega... Ba Omega... I can't talk right now. Omega Weapon, which was cool. Really cool. And I'm currently panicking with the final bosses. <laughs> Nice. Thanks. Really happy with that. I'm currently just waiting for for Zell to die so I can get Squall. Oh. Did I say Z Uh. Right. Let's just do this. I'm just going to do whatever I can. There you go. Let me end with Meteor Barrett. How's your day been, anyway? Hope it's been well. But yeah, really appreciate the raid. Thanks, mate. I really appreciate that. Zell is so super weak, I just want him to go away. Because I don't want to put a holy war on now. Whoa! Frame rate. Because it's blowing things away right now. Day was alright. That's all, that's great. Always good. Uh, let's do that. I'll do Meteor Barrett again. I do actually have my final heaven, but I can't be bothered to try and get to it. I just want to get a little bit of damage and then go. No problem. Meant to join your stream sooner than tonight, as FF8 is one of my favourite games. Same here. It's my second favourite Final Fantasy game. My favourite being Final Fantasy Tactics. This game does not get enough love. And I hate the fact that I haven't had school yet. Just kill Zell off already. I'm sorry, Zell, but you're pretty useless right now because you're not junctioned to anything. I thought your favourite was 10 2, Daniel. <laughs> it certainly is not. Okay, another phase down. It's also my second favourite. Four is my favourite. That's a really good choice as well. Oh god, we're probably going to die right here. I should have done a holy war. Just to get through this bit, actually. This is going to really hurt and probably kill me. Yep, there you go. I knew that was going to happen. Having a, have have a right execute him for the sake of the world. I knew that was going to happen. I should have just done a holy war. I was trying to let Zell die, but I should have just done the holy war. Oh well. Come on. I hate the fact that it just randomly throws people in and don't have any control over who it is. I actually really like Ten Two in comparison to the first game anyway. Uh, but I'm like in an extreme mi minority. Might be worth just kill off the bad in for 
in the but in on first battle. I might just attack them, yeah, and just do that way. Um, yeah, I don't mind ten two. I don't mind it. I do have it, um, but it's definitely not my favourite. Right, let's try this again, and I might just attack the bad, <laughs> not bad, but the low, qual low level, non-junctioned, non-proper party member people. Can you swap your magic round to put Holy War on slot one? I actually tried to in in the item menu. I have rearranged it, but for some reason it didn't in the battle menu, and I don't know why. So yeah, that was weird. But yeah, I think I might just, in the very first battle, just kill them off quickly. And get the right team, basically. Because <laughs> I want to get through this. I gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. I hate that song. Why am I singing it? Alright, who are you going to choose? Irvine, Zell, and Selfie. I got two straight away. That's not bad. I don't know why I'm attacking her, but she's going to hurt Zell anyway, so that's fine. Strange. Couldn't auto rearrange fix it first? Um, can you attack yourself? Yes. Irvine, attack Zell. Right, Zell's gone. Sorry, Zell, but we don't need you right now. Always wondered about uh, LTs, exchange Cs for Ks. Can't figure out what it's meant to convey. Yeah, it's a really weird choice. Because um, it's still the same sound anyway. I'm not sure what the accent's meant to be. <laughs> if I'm honest. Like with Odin, obviously with the all the V's, you can create an accent for him, but I don't know what hers is supposed to be. Absorbed into time, Quistis, fine. Gilgamesh, that's unexpected. I don't think I've ever had Gilgamesh come in this fight before. Ever, actually. <laughs> Zantetsuken, that's not going to do anything. That was a waste of time. Right, Christus. Attack yourself. I could post the clip from the app. So here it is, about 20 minutes late. No problem, mate. Thank you very much. I do. I appreciate clipping it as well. Uh, double. Okay. That's not good. Go on, take Quistus already. Give me, give me Squall! Damn you! All I need is Squall. Sorry, Renova, we're about to shoot you. This is going to hurt a lot. Check. Kuraga! On yourself. Are we going to see the end, by the way? We might do. It would be nice if we can, would be my answer. You know what? I'm gonna just. Oh crap. That was too late. Irvine's about to die, isn't he? No. Okay. Oh no, she does double. Yeah, Irvine is gonna die. Crap. Crappity crap crap. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, how close is that? Man, Holy's weak.
Alright. That's Renoa gone. Irvine's really screwed right now. <gasps> Thank God for that. Where's Aura? She hasn't got it. Come on, Irvine. Where are you? Aura. And then Squall. Just do a hero on yourself. I don't know why we're getting slow down. Right. When's a Kukin? Fated Circle. Right, we'll do... Pulse Ammo. We won't get many shots, but might as well. I probably should have changed card for item, really. Right, now Griever. I'm supposed to end the stream at 1 o'clock and it's 15 minutes away. Let's see how this goes. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a reasonable amount of damage to start with. Mens a Missed the last one because I'm an idiot. Nice. <laughs> Don't think that was enough to kill him though. Oh no, it was. Okay, that's good because we're still invincible. Good. So we'll get past that. So, we'll survive Shockwave Pulsar. <clears throat> Come on, this is a long animation. Grieve is gone. So now we get Ultimecia Junction to Griever. Ammo. So does the does that griever make them bleed line lose all punch if you rename him something silly? It really does. Like it just ha it, it, you can make it sound so stupid that line because yeah it it takes the name from from what you name him. It's like butt face or something like that. I need to keep selfie. Right, you, 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 you. Wow, we're getting a lot this time. Holy hell. Oh, there you go. That phase is done. Butt face, make them bleed. See? <laughs> wow, that phase is done. Next bit. Went to Kukin. Damn it, missed the last one again. I was expecting it to be earlier. But that should be the end of that phase too, I think. Yep. Okay. Last phase. 
We're doing well. I expect Aura to run out soon. And the Holy War as well. But why is she naked under Grievous' armour? Flesh? What the hell is that? Yeah, <laughs> it's um... Apparently when you junction yourself to a GF you lose all of your body. Like all of your body, what am I talking about? Uh, all of your clothing and stuff. So never junction yourself to a GF. That's a weird phrase, actually. <laughs> Come on. We've got one more phase to go. Unless you junction yourself to Shiva. Yeah. Yep, I will take that. There you go. True Ultimisia. Now once she starts talking, that's the end actually when she's got 0 HP. And then you just have to keep attacking um, to get her to continue talking. Like, after, after the fight starts, I mean. Time shall compress. All existence denied. Denied. Ultimisia says no. I like how Griever is the ultimate GF and yet Eden's damage output is far greater. You know, I'd never thought about that before. But that's a really good point. Right, shot. Pulse ammo. No longer hard Ks. That's a good point. And not to mention Christus can learn his ultimate move. Yeah. Yeah, she can, can't she? Get as much as I can done. Getting a lot of damage out of Irvine again. One more. Right, if she starts talking now, we're done. No, she didn't. Shot. Pulse ammo. She should probably be dead after this lot. I would think. Come on, one more, one more. Yes, there you go. Now I just need to survive. So, we'll just do Curaga on you. Now I just need to survive, basically. I'm kind of tempted just to throw a Holy War on for the sake of it. This is not good because we're quite low on health. If I die now, I'm going to be so pissed off. Oh, okay. That's... Yeah, that's fine. Holy War should do. Plenty of Megalix is left over too. That's very true. But I don't think it matters anymore either. Because if I attack her, yeah, she just continues talking. So all I've got to do is keep attacking. No point in doing anything else at this point. And I've just got to attack until she finishes what she's saying, basically. There you go. Done. We have now finished Final Fantasy VIII. <sighs> that was nice. I do love that game. Or this game, because it's still technically going. I never noticed that she's hanging out upside down <laughs> of that fugly bus. Yeah, she is. Um, she... It's kind of like Anima, almost. Time! Run complete! Yeah, it's kind of like Anima from FF10, where you get the actual... Like, the, the human-ish side of it is underneath. I think. No, it's not. The human's... The kind of more human-y 
actual faces underneath anyway. Uh, nice, thank you. Um, but yeah, that's that was the end of the game. Obviously, we've got the actual ending to go through now, but nice. I can't believe we did that so quickly as well. Now, even more weird scenes. What's up, guys? I'm a toss magic at you from down here. So all I can also I can see your privates. <laughs> uh, that is quite amusing, isn't it? Uh, this bit is so trippy. So trippy. Shut up, just calm down and think where we have to go. Careful, guys, don't pick the wrong time. Whatever you do, don't fall into a time warp. Because it's not a great song. But, yeah, so, um, time, place, who I want to be with. The, um, with that, with Final Fantasy now finished, Final Fantasy VIII, um, next Friday... I will be doing one stream. I might do. I might do another more. We'll see, but probably just one stream on the Friday of Resi Two, just because the, when I as I said last stream, when I play it for the very first time, the the remake. Obviously, I played the original one many times, but when I play the remake for the first time, I want to make sure that I'm sharing that experience with you guys. So Friday, I will stream Resi Two, and then probably Saturday next week. We will start Legend of Dragoon, which is my second favorite game of all time, um, and my and I think it's better than Final Fantasy VIII and all the other Final Fantasies out there, to be honest. So I look forward to sharing that with you guys as well. But it's a longer game than Final Fantasy VIII, I shall say that. I like how she says, "Don't fall into a time warp," like she has any idea how the hell to avoid such a thing, you know, because this happens all the time. I know, right? Legend of Dragoon? That's correct. Uh, where is it? Just grab it over here. Yep, we will be playing that. This absolute beauty of a game. That will start on Saturday. Excuse me, have you seen a little, bit, a little boy? You don't have to worry. The boy won't go anywhere. I think so too, poor thing. And this is how the entire cycle go goes, like starts, isn't it? You're alive? The sorceress? The game is so good. Also, I love the successor. Legend of Dragoon is amazing, I have to say. And it does not get the love, oh, it didn't get the love it deserved. And it's made by Sony, and they're not making any more so far, and that really bugs me. This sorceress is just looking for someone to pass her powers on to. Like, Sony own that game. They own the rights to that game. They could just make a damn sequel, or a remake, or something to do with Legend of Dragoon again. But they don't. I shall take o take over that sorceress's powers. I, don't want, I do not want one of the children to become one. I can't disappear yet. Matron! And so it all begins again. Any remakes coming of Legend of Dragoon? I've never played it. I don't think there ever will be. Like, if they've not done anything with the series since the PS1, I don't think Sony's ever going to do it. Hey dear, let me pitch another idea here. Don't fucking do it. <laughs> I know, right? Just let me kill her. Sorted. You called me Matron. Who are you? A seed. A seed from Ballon Garden. Let her die because she's evil. Seed? Garden? Both garden and seed were your ideas. Garden trains seeds. Seeds are trained to defeat the sorceress. What are you saying? I'm saying I'm from the future. Listen to me. I'm totally not a crazy. 
you're that boy from the future. I do like how the time loop comes full circle. So do I. It's like... It's like a perfect paradox. And I think that's really cool. Please return. You do not belong here. I can't find sis. Am I all alone? Who's he? Nobody. You don't need to know. Yeah, that's probably best. The only squall permitted here is you. Do you know where to go back to? Do you know how? Um, yeah, because I do this all the time. I'm like, kind of like a Terminator. Will you be alright by yourself? I'll be alright, Matron. Is he my dad? <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I'm not alone. I think we get the, the actual video now. I'm not alone. Full circle. Or more like an eight. <laughs> uh, JRH, you win, the, you win today's internet. <laughs> Where is everyone? Rinoa, where are you? Zell! Rinoa! School take time travelling vacations, I lost Chewie Griffin all the time. <laughs> Rinoa, I want to hear your voice. Which way do I go? I can't make it back alone. Rinoa! How does Rinoa become win now? Okay, whatever. Stupid captions. Or am I all alone again? Where am I? LOD is on the PS Store. It's on the, U the US one, yes. It's not on the UK one. I don't know if it's on any other ones, but yeah, over here in the UK, you can't get it on the PlayStation Store. So I had to pay quite a bit of money for that. To get it back, because I used to, it was in my old collection. A um, little bit of backstory and history for you. I used to have a really nice collection of PS One and PS Two games um, when I lived in the UK the first time, like growing when I grew up in the UK. Then when I moved over to Bulgaria to basically rebuild my life after everything went to crap, um, while moving over there, the two boxes with all of all of my games, and I mean all of them somehow disappeared and so i lost um legend of dragoon i lost the final fantasy games i lost um Lu luna 2 i've got luna 1 still but i lost luna 2 and then the thing that still to this day hurts the most is that i lost rule of rose now, if you've ever looked up how expensive Rule of Rose is now, you'll understand why just thinking about that makes my heart ache. Um, okay, here's a question. Do you think that the fan theory that Renora's past Ultimecia holds any weight? Wasn't it disproven? It probably... um, see, I still think, yes, I think I think that's kind of how it goes. In my, in my own personal take of the game, yes. Um, I think the one bit of evidence they had... Ultimecia flashing over her in this end, uh, in this ending cutscene, which is weak in the first place. Yeah, I just I think personally, I like the theory because that also explains why she has Griever when Griever is basically just Squall's ring and how it's become a, a GF and why she has it because to Squall's time tripping. Travelling balls right now. <laughs> 300 euro for sealed on eBay. That's gone down in price. You Tell you what, you want to see something scary. Go to Amazon.co.uk and then look at Rule of Rose. And you'll see like how crazy some of the prices can get for that game. And Daniel, yep, you've just, ne you've just mentioned my favourite theory about this game. By far. Squall is dead is such a great theory. Um, 
if you play through the game with that mentality, it changes the entire story and the way and the way you see everything. I love that theory so much. I think they they did such a great job with it. Uh, now, yep, school is, as you said, he at the moment he's tripping balls, completely. Trying to remember Renoa, basically. Trying not to forget. As he just completely goes crazy. Or dies, depending on which theory you're looking at. I hate that pretty much every theory in pretty much any medium that isn't blatantly explained turned into X character was dead all along for a time. It did, it did, yeah. But, um... Eh. Oh, he died, and it's all in his mind is based on ninety percent of creepy pastors. To be fair, that is very, very true. Um, but the squall is dead theory I like because there's so much because it it works with the game so well. Because let's face it, if you get impaled by a giant sheet of ice through the chest, it, at the very least you're going to have a gaping hole somewhere in your body. Which school doesn't ever have he even mentions where where's my wound? And two, the other option, you're probably gonna die. Um, most characters don't get impe yeah by an ice spear through their heart and wake up without wounds exactly. And then that bit there, I don't know if you saw it with his face just empty. That's so creepy. And that's and then this is all supposed to it all kind of ties into the idea that. He's actually dead, and it does. It works with the with the things that happen in the game. And whereas most of them, most of these theories, they're just people who can't understand something and think, "Well, that'll do." When it he's dead all the time, that that'll that'll do. But with FF8, it actually works, and that's why I like it so much. Oh no, there, there's a, the, at least a very convincing argument that Squall was iced <laughs> when he got stabbed. Iced. I like your play on words. I appreciate it. And unpopular opinion, Renoa is my favourite character in a Final Fantasy game, and this is one of my favourite songs ever made. And Renoa does get a lot of slap, not a slap, gets a lot of hatred and for being, I get people calling her a Mary Sue and stuff like that, but you know what, I like her. In fact, when I was a kid, yeah, Renoa grew on me. Well, when I was a kid, I had two video game crushes. One was Renoa, and one was Claire Redfield. Now, as an adult, with obviously the Dissidia games and the Resident Evil 3 remake, my video video game crushes are once again Renoa and Claire. She gets a lot of crap for just being a teenager. Exactly. Exactly, she's just a teenager. What do you expect her to be like? I think Squall is the only character to get any damage in the games, though, from the intro. All of the others just continue as they were. That's true. That's a very good point. I love that Cypher is fishing. I think that's hilarious. Renoa was cool. Vivi was my favorite. Vivi is really cool. And again, very a very depressing storyline, but really cool. I hated her initially because I had a massive crush on Quistis, but yeah, Renoa actually has a character. This song is so bad and I love it. <laughs> I really enjoy this song. I don't know why. I just I really like this song. Um See I didn't I can understand that if you had a crush on Quistis, but for me I had a straight away it was a crush on Renoa completely. I think I have a thing for dark dark hair, so that kind of pushed me in that direction to begin with anyway. And Laguna. I think alone come yeah. He's I think he's finally gone home to Windhill, hasn't he? Remembering when he proposed?
I did. I also forgot how long this final cutscene was. <laughs> Aguna, <laughs> Aguna, a death. I say, I say the thing that it did wrong, and it corrects it to the right one. These captions are amazingly bad. It's hilarious. Are they saying that? Sino was cut apart apart from those two. None of those. Cipher was Cipher has a cut apart from those two. None of them have any physical damage after combat. That's very true. Rain better than Julia. Don't at me. I would agree with that, completely. Good Cipher autocorrect. <laughs> I got what you meant. Don't worry. But yeah, I would definitely, definitely say Julia. Um, Julia is not. It, Rain is better than Julia. I would definitely agree with that. Plus, I mean, she gave birth to the guy who ends up effectively saving the world, so there is that as well. I forgot he had an earring. <laughs> it looks so funny, that one earring. I think Squall realises Laguna is his father at this point. I'm not sure. I'd like to think so, because it would be nice for him to actually get like some closure in terms of his fam actual family. But at the same time, I I don't think there's anything clear that make or anything even like not like hidden in it that shows that he might do. But there's a possibility because he goes through all of that time mumbo jumbo. So maybe. Uh, and to actually see the very final bit, we have to wait through all, most of the cut, the credits now, don't we? Oh, by the way, your mum's dead. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Not not great, is it? Yay for parties. And Irvine looking like an idiot. <laughs> we might as well let, let this play out so we get the end, the, the full cutscene, like, full storyline bit. He's there when Kiros drops the line in Ragnarok about Squall is like his father, isn't he? I can't remember. Yeah, he is. He's in the room, actually. Strange that they don't do anything with that, isn't it? You'd think they would... You'd think they'd actually make some kind of interaction about it, but they just don't. They really should. I think that... I think it's too unclear. Did that do in the background steal some cutlery or something? I missed that, did he? I'm going to have to go back and look at that. I missed that entirely. I can't remember his reply. Me neither. But there's no real proper actual conversation about it. Kiros does say something along the lines of Laguna wanting to go back for him. Yeah. Because um, le Laguna leaves to go get alone. And... <laughs> to go get alone, apparently. Um... <laughs> But yeah, he does always want to go back. Oh, they should have done so much more with that story. Haha, <laughs> you just annoyed Selfie. That was dumb. And then Zell, I think, yeah, Zell and the library girl. Zell just scoffing his face. Adio! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oh, silly Zell. I started to type something about Idea. <laughs> and, I f and forgot I was. <laughs> I do that all the time, mate. I, like, send her two messages, like, two completely different messages put together. Oh, you don't look like... You don't look much like your father, is what he says. Oh, is it? That's weird. Oh well. I guess he doesn't really, does he? Actually. 
Battery ending. Uh, pace yourself. He Zelda doesn't know how to pace himself with food. So now that should be. Oh. That was it. Well, there you go, guys. I thought there was another bit, but I can't be asked to go through the entire. Um, I can't be bothered to go through the entire credits. My stream keeps cutting out, so I'm heading off. No worries, JRH. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. I'm actually going to end now anyway. I'm just going to see if there's anyone to raid. Ooh, hello. I think, I, I think I've just seen a notification of exactly who I want to raid. Let's go to the app again. So i go to there... Yep, I know exactly who I want to raid. Alright, so. Guys, thank you very much. Um, uh, thanks for joining, really appreciate that. I can't believe we got through Omega, and I can't believe we also got the game finished. This is awesome. And, yeah. Daniel, I think you probably do know who. We're going to go and raid Star, because she is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I just need to be able to type properly. Just want to make sure I'm just going to double check that I've got that spelt right before I do this. I think that's right. Okay, so if I could type, it would really help. I did that. That should get us going. Hopefully. That didn't work, did it? Because I can't type. Okay, I'm just... I'm not going to do it on my phone. I'm really sorry. It's going to get really choppy when I do this on my... Um, on my desktop because my computer goes crazy. So let's wait for the end of this little scene first. And then I'll type that again properly. Because I'm silly. So, should be that. I'm just going to. Yeah, I think that's right, isn't it? So, if I did that. Oh, dude! Fernando, thank you very much, man. Welcome to the Cheesecake family. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Dude, you rock. Uh, every, again, everyone rocks, but thanks so much. And I hope you enjoy your emotes. Dude, especially with your Twitch Prime. I really appreciate that, mate. Thank you very much. Hey. It's going to get choppy now because I'm going on the desktop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for that. But... Resi 2 on Friday. Legend, Legend of Dragoon... On Saturday, starts on Saturday. So I hope you guys can make it for that. Oh, this is still loading. But yeah, um, thanks again and have a great evening, guys. You guys rock. Now let's go see Star.